Animal housing on modern day farms has come a long way from the old barns of the past. Today's housing systems are designed to provide a clean, dry, and comfortable environment for cattle, pigs, and poultry, while also protecting them from predators and disease. They also enhance farmers' ability to feed and handle their animals, as well as manage manure. Changing climate means more animals are raised inside buildings as farmers adapt to warmer temperatures and heavy precipitation. A key part of maintaining proper environmental conditions in any housing system is ventilation. This video will focus on the basics of mechanical ventilation systems for animal housing. The goal of any ventilation system is to remove moisture and heat produced by the animals and manure, as well as to remove gases such as ammonia and carbon dioxide. The challenge is controlling environmental conditions in the barn as ambient temperatures fluctuate hourly, daily, and from season to season. Ventilation systems must also be robust enough to handle varying numbers and sizes of animals. This is important because uh, the animal housing facilities, the animals that are housed in these facilities, need to have air exchange to control moisture, uh, especially during cold weather, but they also need to be uh, cooled during warm weather conditions, especially during our, our, our summer heat events, uh, so that they are not uh, heat stressed. We're going to use the trailer here. Mobile ventilation workshops like this one, developed by agricultural engineers and animal scientists at four state universities, demonstrate the principles and practice of properly ventilating animal barns. There's a steep learning curve with uh, managing ventilation systems. A lot of our employees have never never worked with these systems before, so we have to really uh, put a lot of effort into teaching them how to run these systems. So the concepts of ventilation are uh, not easily understood by people that don't have a technical background. Uh, since we're dealing with airflow, you can't see that. This unit actually will help us to show people uh, visually or give them kind of a hands-on experience of what's going on with mechanical ventilation, how air is exchanged in a barn and how moisture and heat are removed from facilities. There are three key parts to any ventilation system. The inlets, where fresh air comes into the building, the outlets, where stale air leaves the building, and the sources of heat, moisture, and gas, typically the animals and the manure. The relationship between the inlet and outlet is critical. The outlet is where air is moved out by a fan. The rate at which air is moved out by the fan is measured in cubic feet per minute, or CFM. This capacity, or airflow rate, changes depending on the static pressure difference between the inside and outside of the building. The outlet fan creates a negative static pressure inside the building as it moves air out. We can show that there is actually airflow. This negative static pressure helps draw in fresh air through the inlet. If there is no inlet to bring air into the building, the outlet fan will still spin, but no air will flow. Opening the inlet allows more airflow into the building and the static pressure decreases. This graph shows how airflow, measured in cubic feet per minute, increases with decreases in the amount of static pressure, which is measured in inches of water. This is a device um, called the manometer that measures static pressure. Inside animal barns, the ideal static pressure should be between five hundredths of an inch and one tenth of an inch in order to maintain good airflow. The fans and the inlets must operate together to maintain this ideal static pressure. Fans are chosen based on how much airflow is needed to maintain the desired environmental conditions in the barn. During the coldest time of the year, the lowest airflow rate is needed to remove moisture from the building. During the hottest time of the year, the highest airflow rates are needed to remove heat from the building. A well-designed ventilation system takes into account the sources of the heat, 
moisture and gas generated in the barn. These sources are a function of the type, number, and size of animals in the building, as well as the type of manure handling system. Other things to consider are heat or cold coming from non-insulated walls or ceilings. The system should also take into account the thermoneutral zone of the animals in the barn. As you can see from this graph, thermoneutral temperatures vary greatly among livestock species, and they also vary with the animal's age. With today's modern animal genetics and nutrition, animals convert feed energy into body mass, milk, or eggs more quickly, and thus they produce more heat per animal than in the past. The ventilation system will regulate the temperature inside the barn with the use of controls, similar to how a home thermostat is used to control heat and air conditioning in a home or office. In hot weather, the ventilation system control regulates the barn temperature by adjusting the fan speed or the number of fans operating. This graph shows how multiple fans might operate in stages in order to maintain the needed airflow rate. The orange lines that look like stair steps show how additional single-speed fans are turned on to increase the airflow rate as temperatures rise in the barn. The blue lines show how a variable speed fan would ramp up or spin faster to increase airflow during the first three stages. The controller can also be programmed to open or close the inlets to maintain the proper static pressure in the building, to operate mixing fans, heaters, and sprinkling systems, or to manage a variety of other environmental control devices. The location of the inlets determines how fresh air is distributed inside the building. Often there are two inlet systems, one for the winter and one for the summer. The winter system, with low airflow rates, will typically have inlets in the ceiling or sidewall spread along the length of the building. The summer system, with high airflow rates, will usually have large inlet openings at the end of the building or in the sidewalls. Uh, it says about 300 CFM. We've seen how ventilation systems are designed and operated to control airflow capacity. These systems can also be designed to increase the velocity of air moving past the animals to help remove body heat. Air velocities from 300 to 600 feet per minute are used to enhance evaporative cooling. Air velocity can be calculated with this simple equation. Velocity equals airflow, or CFM, cubic feet per minute, divided by the area. The area is the cross-sectional area of the barn in the path of the airflow. Reducing this area will result in increased velocity, as shown by this diagram. In this system, the airflow rate is 900 cubic feet per minute. Looking at the larger cross-sectional area of 9 square feet, the velocity is calculated by dividing 900 cubic feet per minute by 9 square feet, resulting in a velocity of 100 feet per minute. Now see what happens when the area is reduced to 1 square foot. The velocity increases to 900 feet per minute. This same relationship is used to control the air velocity through the inlets. Okay, now measure airspeed. Given the same airflow rate, shrinking the inlet area increases the air velocity and promotes better air mixing in the barn. During warm weather, this technique is used to increase the airspeed over the animals. This is done by reducing the cross-sectional area of the barn using baffles or curtains placed inside the barn. We know it's a dynamic situation in barn. Today, more and more animal agriculture professionals are coming to understand the importance of good ventilation and how inlets, outlets, and sources of heat, moisture, and gases are all important design and operating parameters. Animals raised in controlled and comfortable environments are more likely to reach their maximum production potential. This helps farmers produce more milk, meat, and eggs more efficiently. That is why a ventilation system that is well designed and operated yields results that will pay off years down the road. <laughs>